Friday, Friday afternoon. Look what I got here. I, I, uh, this is a black canvas. I bought this black canvas because I thought I was going to be doing some, you know, painting with some iridescent colors and you need like a dark canvas for that. But I wanted to do something with perspective today. This is, this is like changing the whole way I'm seeing this landscape, the way I laid it out because, uh, I kind of off-centered that just a little bit to have it angled a little bit to that horizon there. So hopefully the it's drawing my eye right there for if you look at my other paintings, the mountains are usually up here higher. So I'm, I'm trying to use this as the perspective you'd use like if you're doing buildings and stuff. And... Uh, with the with the ceiling and the corners so i'm going to try it on uh uh nature and see what happens <laughs> this is like maybe for someone that has that what's that people that always have to have things in a certain order i can't remember what it's called but i'm going to put that in I'm gonna, I had to use a gray uh, gesso on the black because I didn't want to paint on black. So let me see if this brown works. So, yeah, so I want to have some distant mountains back here. They're all coming, coming forward. Uh, I'm thinking I can change the heights. That's why I put this line here going to the horizon. Uh, I could probably make uh, the tops of these mountains touch there and take it down. Or I have it down here lower, see? I have it pretty even, so. I'll just keep it, uh, keep them where they're at right now. I don't even think I need to lay this in, but I'm going to have some cool mountains going back to the horizon there. And I'm going to have, uh, I don't know what kind of, uh, I was thinking about like putting some kind of uh, water coming down or have some kind of uh, just a, like a canyon in there. Not a canyon, but a grasslands going down, maybe with water running right down the middle. And this will be it. These will be hills right in the foreground. I might be able to pop. A few trees down in here. Nothing into the sky. And in the sky I'm going to use this perspective with the clouds. Like have them big here. Getting smaller and smaller as they come down. It's going to look kind of weird. But we'll see what happens. <clears throat> I'm going to start with my sky. I got some uh, very. I use cobalt blue today with and I mix some white in it to make it lighter very light blue sky on a, a gray uh, uh, under paint okay light blue Friday. Today was uh, today's payday for me, so that was nice. I was gonna have uh, tomorrow off, but they asked me to come in and work, so I'm gonna go ahead and work tomorrow. 
early in the morning. I'll be off by uh, 11 a.m. So. It's a nice blue, blue sky. Where I got this idea was I did a painting a long time ago of, it was inside a building with windows and side windows and everything lined up to that center. So if there was a window here, uh, it would be this tall and you would just follow the lines you know it was kind of cool so that's where i i was looking at that and i go man maybe i could do a nature like that we'll see how it turns out but i'm basically basically gonna kind of paint it uh in the same way i usually do a landscape but have this perspective in there it may look too uh mechanical we'll see we'll see what happens i'm gonna try and hurry so this acrylic paint It's a good way to learn uh, painting with uh, acrylic and it's also uh, easy to clean up acrylic paint rather than oil uh, you just got to use water just water to you can use soap with your brushes but All right, there we go. Got a nice blue sky. This white stuff will all end up looking like clouds by the time I'm done. Let me put the mountains in. Now I'm going to put the mountains in with Payne's Gray. Maybe I'm going to put these ones back here. Uh, a little lighter. I hope this works out. This is just all an idea right now. Just an idea. Yeah, I'm trying to get more, uh, if you've never painted before, uh, you should, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll, uh, I'm trying to, like, uh, get more people involved with painting. And I try and paint it really simple, uh, and uh, that you can understand. 
I'm not using any uh, like difficult techniques, I don't think. The cool thing about uh, landscapes is uh, even if you try and follow what I'm doing, yours your yours will come out different. It'll it'll be your own. Uh, even if I tried to like come back next week and paint this scene, it would it would look different. It wouldn't look the same. So. So right now this is this is really looking good so the only difference is, is these are mountains are layered so what I usually do on a mountain at the very bottom now I would take white so I'll, I'll continue with that uh, I'll take a smaller brush I'm gonna get a little wet my brush a little and get a little bit of uh, titanium white on it and what I usually do is at the bottom I put a little white at the bottom of all my uh, mountains just like this just a little bit of titanium white at the bottom It helps create uh, some terrain down here as well. Wet your brush. In the, I have a thing of water here. I uh, just wet my brush, grab a little bit of paint. And I'm mixing it with uh, the paint's gray up there. If you get too much paint on your brush, just wipe it off with a napkin. And blend that white into the bottom of the mountain and pull it out here it's pretty good You could either you could use blue as well instead of white down here if you wanted light blue like in the sky look at that That already looks kind of cool to me. See, I, I never, I never paint like this. Uh, this seems to be working out pretty good. I think it's a good idea. I could have made those, you know, darker, but that's all right. I'm going to hit, uh, hit all these peaks with uh, snow and stuff. And, uh, it'll help separate them. But look at that. That looks pretty good. I think uh, what I'm going to do down here is uh, I'm going to use some brown right in here and just kind of put a little brown down here at the bottom to get some color going in here. like that that's uh 
burnt umber. And I got some green I mixed. Cobalt. Cobalt blue with uh, some yellow. Was it yellow? Yellow ochre. So this is uh, I'm putting a little green down here. Maybe there's some grass down there. Look at that. That looks pretty amazing. I kind of like it, uh, the way the mountains are going off like that. It's the first time I ever did anything like this. I'm kind of making it easy. I got the foreground pretty much right here. But since this is the first time I'm doing something like this, I didn't want to... I could have made these mountains uh, way up here and then had a lot of... Uh, distance coming from back there forward uh, with more depth so I'm trying to say move these mountains up higher then you'd have to put more things in down here let me put uh, I'm gonna put some snow on those mountains right now and then I'm gonna I'm gonna run uh, a river from way back there and snake it through these snake it through there is what I'm gonna do that looks pretty good I really like that let me uh, finish up this here though I'm gonna use uh, uh, light green over here and dark green over here so I'm gonna make this uh, hill over here this has uh, cobalt blue with a mixture of uh, yellow ochre to make it turn green it's like a, it's a weird looking green but I'm going to make it look different by adding different uh, colors in there in a little bit. I'll go ahead and lighten up the top part of it right now. Maybe I'll have like the top up here and some... Uh, Put some shadows in here. Something like that. Or it'll look like uh, a three tiers there. This will be the top and it's coming down. Something like that, but uh, I'm going to put dark green over here. So this dark green, I made it with uh, cobalt blue and yellow. See how it's a little darker than that one? And I'm going to probably add black to it. So I could put a few evergreen trees in here. Just trying to make this simple down here. I don't want this to be two hours long. It's only taken 20 minutes to get the design down. Once I get this uh, river snaked in here, that's good. That's what's going to make the. Uh, the painting it's gonna look really good uh, I really like it so far let me get some snow up on those mountains and it's really gonna look good I think uh, I got 
gotta, I gotta think where the light's gonna be coming from. This is pretty amazing. It, it, my eye is like wanting to go right to the center of that where I put the horizon is right there. So if the sun was setting, it would set right there. That's the horizon there. So I'm going to say the sun is... Uh, more I'm gonna say the Sun is on the right over here so I can hit this side with light and I only have a less to work with over here for the shade so the lights gonna be coming from here so I can uh, grab some white now I'm going to put a little gray in my white. So it'll be uh, on the gray scale. It's going to be about a value uh, about a value nine. It'll still look like white. Now the trick with uh, using a knife with acrylic paint, it very put a little a little bit on there. Okay, if you want to get your snow to break uh, on your mountains, just use very little paint. Okay, and kind of wiggle it as you come down see how you get those breaks in there and if you get too much white up there uh, get less paint on your knife okay and just kind of wiggle it down just like that Look at that. I'm just going to kind of work it a little bit here. So on these peaks, the uh, snow is going to be more on this side. Okay, just like that. See how the light is hitting over here on these? And uh, when you do your mountains... Uh, That's how I, I look at them as uh, like uh, where the lights, I do the, the snow side first with the light snow because it really makes it easier to design uh, when you do this side first. I've tried doing the dark side first, like this side, and it doesn't come out 
very well. So for the other side, I call this the shadow side. I'm mixing that blue, a little blue from the sky with the white for this side here. Same thing. Uh, just get a little, look how small that roll is on there. This isn't like oil paint. Uh, just get a little bit of uh, color on there and let it break, okay? Come right up to your white and pull it to the left. I have to use the small side of the knife for this one. See how there's a small side of the knife there? This is for uh, smaller parts of the mountain. I want this one to be in front of this one, so uh, I'm going to bring the front of this one down more. So it goes in front of that one, okay? And then we do have part of a mountain here that you can't see yet. like that look at that I really like that I'm starting to wonder uh, maybe if, if you do this you can use these mountains here can be any height uh, as long as you use your say you put a line like this going from your horizon and you want these mountains to uh, hit the top of that line to go down to the, the smaller mountain, okay? On these, I just used the line, a very low line. But, man, it looks pretty good. I'm really happy with this. <laughs> I was afraid to do a live because uh, I haven't tried it. It was just an idea. This was just an idea, and I was, uh, I hadn't done it yet, so. You can leave you can leave some of the the gray up there. You don't have to cover it all. That looks pretty good. I really like it. I'm not going to spend mo any more time on the mountain, but uh you could take your time and work it and get it to look good. <clears throat> that looks pretty good to me. It's pretty amazing. Alright, I'm going to try and work my water down now so you can see how I do that. I'm going to use uh, this type of brush, okay, or uh, knife. 
I'm going to work it from these two back here and bring some water forward through these mountains and down this uh, canyon. I'm going to use uh, a little bit. It's white and gray. The, the color I used on the right side of the mountain. So what I do, I'm going to cut a small line here. Just get paint on the very tip. And I'm going to start wiggling down some water from way, way back there. Bringing it down, keeping my knife straight. I'm just going to do it as a line first, and then I'll widen it out where I need it. like that. Doesn't that look cool? You got water coming from way back there all the way down. And these are like hills that are close to us looking down on the canyon. It's coming out pretty good. Uh, now I can just kind of paint the way I usually paint by putting, uh, I could put some bushes out here and some trees and do my clouds. I was going to do the clouds with perspective too. That line was right here coming from here. I was going to try and keep the clouds in here going back to the horizon to see if that would work to make it look like it, they're going back. Uh, I think I'm going to give it a try with uh, I'm just going to put uh, small clouds down here real quick with a knife and my line is going up to that corner there so I'm going to get uh I'm going to follow that line and get bigger as I go up with clouds. This line was coming up here. This is an easy way to do clouds. It's the same way as I did this water here. You just put a little bit on your tip and kind of just put it on your canvas like that. Don't 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 think about it too much. So it's a different style cloud, okay? I want to follow this uh, perspective in here. It's, 
Let me see if it's actually working. It's kind of working. I think these need to start getting a lot bigger up here and then gradually getting smaller down here. But I think it's going to end up being okay. Clouds usually look uh, better if you're coming off the side of the canvas. So you don't have to do it down here, but uh, at least bring these big ones on the top uh, to the side over here. All right. getting there it's getting there that's all I'm going to work on the clouds for now because I don't want to waste too much more time but you get the idea bigger here and then get smaller down here at the bottom and we'll put a few floaters down in here wow looking pretty good I need to put a let's put a tree in there somewhere just so it uh, I don't even know where I want to put the trees if I want to bring them on top of this hill over the mountains or what uh, ba -da -ba -ba -da -boo. Let me just put some small trees over here. Uh, see what happens. I didn't really think about uh, this part here when I started this painting when I started this painting I, I knew I wanted to use like uh, perspective like from a building you know and I think it turned out pretty good I think I gotta lighten up some of this back here to make it look this look further back but so far it's looking all right let me put a few trees here and see what happens i'm just going to put small ones here Maybe they're, you know, down the hill there. On top of this uh, hill. And the, just the top parts are popping up.
that looks pretty good I don't want to kind of I don't want to put anything over the mountains so looking pretty good I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing just uh, Probably maybe do that over on this side as well. I still got to work this ground a little bit. And uh, overall, it's looking pretty good. I don't know how much more you want to watch, but probably going to end it here in a second. After I put a put a few birds up here. I'd have some birds in there. Wow, it's looking pretty good. All right, guys, I hope you liked that one. That was something different. If you just tuned in, you should watch it from the beginning, how I got that uh, perspective on the mountains going back to those. It turned out all right. I think I got to lighten up uh, some of the ground back there to make those look further away. Work the clouds a little more and work this ground in here. I'll put the trees down here and finish it up and I'll put it on the community post. But I'm pretty happy with it. Next time I do it, I'll probably make these mountains go up higher over here so it looks like they're really going back far but overall it was a good idea thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next video